Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Adam McDowell with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Chicago and parkbench.com slash North Center. I am joined again today by Lee Dahl Prow and Dr. David Meyerson of Mind Chicago down in Roscoe Village. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Hi. Adam. Hi. See you. So I know we talked before um, about what you guys do, but give us a quick refresher, especially now as the pandemic continues. Uh, what services are you still offering to your clients and anyone who, who needs them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to start? Sure. Uh, so I'm a neuropsychologist. I provide neuropsychological evaluations uh, for children uh, all the way through college students. Um, and uh, not much has changed about uh, the services that I provide um, other than um, a lot of the contact with parents and teachers, etc., are all done remotely. Uh, but evaluations with the children themselves are done in the office with a variety of uh, protocols and you know protections that we we have in place and we are still doing individual group and family therapy and we currently have uh, three therapists myself two other therapists and we have two new therapists that are joining us and all of our therapists specialize in something called evidence-based therapy so these therapies include um, cognitive behavior therapy, behavioral therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, um, exposure and response prevention. And we even have therapists who focus on uh, trauma-informed therapies for youth and have training in something called EMDR. So all of that, what that means is we really help young people and their families who may be struggling with anxiety, depression, or even um, significant impacts from this collective trauma that we're all in with, with COVID-19. Yeah, so the, you mentioned obviously we're still, still in the middle of this pandemic. Um, as it's dragged on, um, what are you seeing? How are you helping people sort of handle this, the pressures of this and the different feelings and emotions that, that are bubbling up? Mm -hmm. Is such a excellent question. Um, even with all this time that's passed, I think there's a sense that we should be like feeling better or somehow used to this by now. And in a way we are. And, um, you know, I had mentioned before was, you know, people are still feeling very sad and very anxious and sometimes even more sad. And I've had a lot of young folks and their families in the past a uh, few weeks, especially with um, being a holiday season as well, um, coming in more tearful, more down, expressing they feel unmotivated, even though we kind of talk about how it's okay to let some things go. Um, and just expressing that they feel like they should be feeling different by now, but they're not. And so some of the work that we're doing is having a lot of self-compassion in the face of this pandemic and that we're not going to be in the same place we were before. We're not somehow supposed to be doing better, but rather what can we focus on right now? What do we have control over? What don't we have control over? And what's important to put your energy into and what can you set aside? So, you know, if you're a parent and there's all these different things with your kid with e-learning that you have to do, right? What's the most important thing today? Is it really just completing the homework? Uh, maybe they are kind of zoning out in class, but we're getting the homework done today. Maybe it's just paying attention in class. Maybe we don't always get the homework done. And that's a hard thing to hear because it's different than what everyone's values are. They want their kids be succeeding in all of these ways and right now that's really tough the same goes on the flip side for kids that um, or teens or young adults is this idea of self-compassion and maybe you're just doing this one thing today maybe you don't also get all of the other activities done maybe you don't end up talking to all of your friends that day and that's okay uh yeah and you guys uh run an instagram that will plug because i know i've scrolled through and found it and um whether i'm feeling anything in that moment or not it's a good reminder of um, you know, thinking through your feelings and stuff. So what's that Instagram and um, what are the goals you guys sort of have with that, the, the content you're providing? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, do you want me to say it, David? Yeah, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. Uh, our Instagram is at MindChicago. Um, we also have a Facebook, LinkedIn, 
Our Instagram holds little tips and tricks for parents, information about our services, but we also write a number of articles on ways to support your child that may have anxiety, depression, or maybe just struggling at home. Uh, tips for parents um, with learning and also information about neuropsychological evaluation. So those can be found there with also links to our website. Um, and then we put other little updates and fun tidbits on there. Great. Um, so the, the Instagram is Mind Chicago. Give it a follow. If you have kids, if you don't have kids, there's, like I said, there's useful stuff for everyone on there, I think. Um, and then the website that you guys, um, that you mentioned, what was that address? It's uh, mindchicago.com. Great. Mind Chicago again. Uh, Lee and David, thank you for your time today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it was great catching up with you a little bit. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you all for great watching. to see you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'm Adam McDowell with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Chicago, your path to home, and parkbench.com slash north central.